So there are several aspects of my work and research that I guess point to uh, important questions or the appropriateness of different types of actions. As we um, anticipate corals declining, as we have determined that there is some risk in the future that they may in fact go extinct. So we're contemplating meddling in natural ecosystems in ways that we have not done before. Humans over their history have certainly um, made adjustments and interactions with other types of animals and plants, but it's been in the context of domestication and agriculture, and there's meddling that we've done in biology that way that has helped to serve human purposes. We haven't taken those types of meddling steps in natural ecosystems. Um, because natural ecosystems are natural and the intent is to leave them that way, to, in, to simply step back and allow them to, to, with the natural resilience that those systems have, or the Bible calls it fruitfulness, God created uh, creation to be fruitful, and that natural systems should take care of themselves that way. We're now coming to understand that human impacts in the world um, may have taken natural systems to a point, and I think some of these coral species are some of our first examples of this, where leaving them alone may no longer be good enough for them to be able to persist in the functions that they are supposed to perform. And so we're contemplating these more profound types of interventions. So even in secular realms, people refer to this as playing God, right? Um, in terms of we talk about genetic modification, or maybe not even, but, but more mild um, actions, such as moving species or organisms from one geography to a totally different geography. These are types of interventions that we perceive, I think even secularly, to be a little bit out of humans' <laughs> proper place, that natural systems should remain natural. And I certainly would have agreed with that um, as I said, I think my professional process of watching so many corals die and coming to the understanding that I think we have perhaps passed a threshold where more proactive intervention is needed for these species to be preserved. Um, that's a very humbling and scary prospect. And I guess for me, uh, my understanding that God's intent is for the natural world to persist in its functional form and that God has an interest and a love of, of nature performing in the way that he, he intended gives me some capacity to walk down that path of using our science to, to take those steps as wisely as we possibly can, but to take those steps that maybe appear to be necessary to preserve nature in some semblance and to preserve the functions and the services that human that humans depend on from the natural world as well.